In this section, let's talk about Shopify themes. And in this video, I just want to concentrate on the themes that are available on the Shopify repository. So the first thing, go to your online store, click there on online store. If you do want to edit your theme, you can click here to customize. And this is where you're going to design your theme. You're going to change images and so much more. These are all the sections that are available on this page and you can edit them appropriately. So that's pretty much standard for every theme that you get, but some of the features may be different, but this is exactly how you'll be able to edit all different themes that you decide to install on Shopify. If you do want to even edit the code for your theme, you can just click there and you'll be able to add code in the various templates that you want to edit on the particular theme that is currently active. And you can even download the theme file if you do want to download this theme. If you want to change themes, you can just come down here, just scroll down and you're going to see the theme library. And you see here, the first thing I want to talk about is you can upload a theme. So if you do have a theme that was, that you purchased from a different platform that is not available on the Shopify theme repository, then you can just click here to upload the theme. Once you upload it, you'll have to activate it to make it the default theme to make it the active theme so that's something you can do as well you can buy themes from places like theme forest and any other places that sell custom shopify themes and we do have free themes that are available on the shopify repository and they're also and you can also go and check out the theme store so you can visit the theme store this is going to take you to themes.shopify.com so once you get here and you don't know which theme you want what you can do is you can just come in here to explore the themes and you see here you can drill them down based on the price we have there are currently nine free themes and then there are also paid themes you can just come into whichever theme that you want to preview let's say you want to preview all of them and perhaps you're just interested in the free themes this is the one that is default this is the one that is currently default on all shopify stores if you do want to check this you can just open that in a new tab and if you want to preview it you want to check the demo just click there to view the demo and this is a nice way to just get an idea for how a theme is going to look like on your shopify store if you use the same design principles let's say this is the one that you want to install you can just click there to add the theme and let's say let's just do this as an example i add the theme let me just click on that and then I'll just come back to online store and you can see this is currently our default theme but let's see if the one that we've installed is now available for us to use and if you come here you're going to see that the one that we installed has been added here so what you can do if you want to make it if you want to make it your default theme you can just come here under actions and then you can publish so when you publish it it's going to become your active theme so just click there to publish and so if you come back if you come up here you're going to see that this is there this is the default theme now the active theme and you can just come in here and customize it just like the other one and i still have this window open for the debut theme and you see that it's pretty much just the same same process if you want to add a section you can do so you can do so but this is not the theme that is currently default so i'm probably going to get some issues there let's come back here and if you do want to add any if you do want to add any any section here these are sections you can make them visible or invisible let us scroll all the way back to the top and up here if you don't want any of these sections not to show up if you don't want any of these sections to show up you can just make it hidden just make it invisible and you can add your own sections as much as you want to all right so this is not a video about how to how to design your shop we're going to see how to do that in upcoming videos for now that's how you can you can install your theme if you do want to install a theme and you can just customize it make it active and customize it now the last thing i want us to look at is there are certain times that you may want to add some custom code to your theme so if you do want to add code you'll just come in here under add actions and then you'll click on edit code but before you do that especially if you're a complete beginner the best thing you can do for yourself is you need to duplicate you need to duplicate this theme and when you duplicate it you're going to get the theme in its default state and if you look at if you look down here you're going to see that you do have the copy of the debut it should be the copy of narrative 
this should be the copy of it should be the copy of narrative not the copy of debut but let's just see if we remove this remove and then we come back and we, we try to make a duplicate of the narrative theme okay so that's what i want the copy of narrative so the point of this is just to make sure that this is like a backup of the theme so if you want to edit the code just come in here first of all you, you duplicate it just for safety reasons and then you come back here under edit code now the way shopify works is that there are all these templates and these templates are the ones that are responsible for adding content to your theme and you can learn all about this the, the shopify documentation the shopify documentation is very thorough and you can use it to find your way around editing any of these themes like let's say you want to add something on all pages if you want to add something on all pages you can look at this page.liquid this is the one that's responsible for adding items on a page this is the one that that shows content within your page okay so maybe you want to add something on the products page you can do that right here you can edit all these elements here maybe you're adding some html you can find out about how to work with liquid template liquid is is a custom templating engine by shopify and that's what they use for all this so if you don't know about this you don't need to worry about this there are lots of people who can help you to do all this who can help you to customize your your theme in any way that you want to you also have sections here and these are maybe you want to add something on the footer you can add something on the footer perhaps maybe you're adding something on the header where is the header maybe you're adding something on the header you can add some content on the header so if you don't know how to work with the shopify templating engine you'll probably have a hard time uh, working with this but if you want to learn how to work with shopify themes just go to the developer the shopify developer documentation and learn about liquid the templating engine that you can use to manipulate shopify themes so that's just something that i wanted to look at but if this is something you're not interested in then it's definitely not important to you and you should just ignore this part so once you've made all your changes you can just click to go back once you make the changes and save them you can click to go back right and if you introduce any kind of errors into your theme by the changes that you made and you can't trace your steps back and delete the code that you added you can just come in here under actions and you can publish the copy and then you can publish the copy right and any customizations that you did will not be lost when you do that if they were already under this theme so that's how to work with Shopify themes. If you do have questions about this, just feel free to let me know. I will see you in another section for now. Let me just, for now, I will publish this theme. And then I will come to this one and I want to remove it. So I'm going to click that to remove, confirm. And that's going to end this section. So I'll see you next time.